again, talking about juggling once more. This time, we're going to have a look at a diagram to help us see what's going on when we do the juggling and possibilities for changing things and juggling in different ways. We've already talked about juggling three, where the balls take it in turns. And you can see here, I've got green, pink, yellow, and of course, if they're taking it in turns, that means the next ball that will be thrown is the green. So I can draw an arrow connecting that throw to here to show that that's where it comes down. Of course, I carry on like this. I do the pink, and then the yellow, then the green, then the pink, then the yellow, and I can join them on. The pink comes to here, the yellow comes to here. Some people have this diagram running sideways. I like to read downwards. You may change what you do when you do the exercise for this. But you can see here that each one, the green now joins to the green, the pink to the pink, the yellow to the yellow. I don't need to put arrows on this because I know that they're coming down the diagram and I can keep going with this. And you can see how far each ball travels. So the yellow from here, I can see that that travels down to this location and the total distance that it travels is three. And that's because I'm juggling three balls. So I can see that that's going to be a three. And I could label each of these with how far it goes. And the same thing works if I juggle four. So I've now got green, pink, yellow, and perhaps white, and then the green again. And you can see now the green travels down four places. One, two, three, four. I'm juggling four. Each one is thrown every fourth time. The distance it travels down the diagram is four, and I can join these on, and I can put next to each uh, of these points, I can say how far it travels. So the green has to travel four places, and I can write the number four next to that particular throw. Now what I did in the last video was I had these things coming in, so this travelled down four places, one, two, three, four, this is where it comes to. And then this one, instead of coming to its usual place, which is here, and the one after going to its usual place, which is here, I had them swap over. So I had this travel to the later place, this travelled further, and this travelled less far, and you can see that it lands here. Having done this small variation, I can then go back and have this travel four and four and four. So you can see I can start by doing things travelling four places, and then I get this one. How far does this travel? One extra. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a five, and that's a three. So that juggling trick I can write down by saying do lots of fours and then suddenly without any provocation do a five and a three and then go back to doing fours. And that works. And this diagram can let you generate sequences of numbers that can be juggled. And one of the exercises that perhaps you might like to have a go at is to generate sequences that can be juggled and then see what you get. Not every sequence of numbers can be juggled. Some are impossible. Can you find one?